They make idols by getting wood and cutting it to size and shape and then decorating it. They have to carry it around and nail it down so it doesn't fall over. How foolish it is to worship the works of your own hands. We wouldn't do that, would we? Do we give honor and glory to those who accomplished by the works of their hands? Of course we do. As a society, we praise science for all its accomplishments and trust it over God. We praise our enlightened thinking that goes against God's word and bow to the thoughts of man instead of the truth of God. Even churches praise their growth and influence when it was built by the methods and marketing of man and not by the spirit, not by the power of God. But there's absolutely none like God. Nothing can match his power and greatness. We need to fear God and stop acting like we know anything at all. We need to know him and should stop seeking anything outside of him. He is the wise one. There is no wisdom apart from him. He is life and what we need to live each day and forever. God made the earth and the heavens and the universe by his power, by his word. He just had to say the word and it was. How can we praise anything else when God has such power? All of our attempts at anything are so paling in comparison. When the scripture says every man is stupid and without knowledge, it, of course, is including women in that. We are all lacking in knowledge without God. The Bible warns more than once about God's people dying for lack of knowledge. What knowledge do we need? We need to know the one true God that saves from death. He is eternal life. There's one more warning here about a lack of knowledge. It says the shepherds are stupid. Ouch. Why are the leaders of the people stupid? How do they show their stupidity? It says they don't ask of the Lord. In other words, they think they know so much. When we are turning to our how-to books instead of God, this is how we are acting. Stupid.